Hi and welcome, this is Gary Foster and on this video I'd like to explain the 5 to 1 rule to you. In fact the 5 to 1 rule, I, when I use it, I contain it in a story for my clients to help them get from where they are to where they want to be. It's a way of getting them thinking in a different way by using their thought processes. Let me explain. So imagine wherever you are, your, your local town centre is having a competition. It's got a grand in the hand. Okay? And all that anyone has to do to win this £1,000 in their hand is to answer one simple question. If they answer the question, they get £1,000 given to them in cash. There's a security guard there waiting for them. And if you want to walk to the bank with them, they can do that also. Okay? So, so get this framed up in your mind. All right? I'm talking now the way I talk to my clients, so it's not scripted. I'm just going to walk you through it. So £1,000 a pound of grand in the hand. So, on, on Saturday, you're in town. You get stopped by someone with a clipboard and it's got a grand in the hand on the back of it. You know what's coming, okay? So you answer the question correctly. That means you get a grand in the hand. I'd, I'd always say to them, what would that be like? Or how would that make you feel? A lot of people go, oh, that'd be great, that'd be good, okay? There are just a couple that might not be interested, but let's go with the majority at the moment, okay? So they're getting excited, they're sitting in front of me, they're about to get a thousand pounds. And I do say to them, remember, this is all made up. But then I say, someone then says to them, oh, before you make that decision, we've just had a little note come through from Ed Hoffis, and what they've said is that if you leave it for a whole year and come back same place this time next year, we'll have it signed with a solicitor, we'll give you £2,000, or you can have the £1,000 now. I'll say to them, what, what would you do? Would you take the £1,000 now, cash now, or wait a whole year uh, and then get £2,000? Everyone will say to me, they'll take the thousand pounds now. They won't wait, they won't wait, okay? I'll go, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But imagine this, another message comes through, um, that it's been radioed in to them, and they've got great news, and it's within the next hour, they've had extra investment into the town centre, and if you make a decision now, okay, you can, in just 12 months time, come back to the same place and collect 5,000 pounds cash, or just take the, £1,000 now. If you decide to take it now, you lose £4,000. Okay, that's important. So now they've got not just £1,000, but between one and £5,000 to make a decision. Okay, and, and often they'll say to me, do you mean if I come back in a year's time, I'll get £5,000? I'll say yes, and I know that there's no saving account that's going to give you that return, is it? No. And most will say, oh, okay, then I'll go for the £5,000. And at that point, I, I've mentioned, do you know about the 5 to 1 rule? At least twice when I'm speaking to them. And they go, no, don't know. And then I'll say to them, okay, let me explain what's just happened there. We've used the 5 to 1 rule on motivation, on what's called the gap, from where you are to where you want to be. Now, if the gap's very small from where you are to where you want to be, there's not that much motivation to make a change so you stay the way you are, in all fairness. So, for example, for people that want to be a, a non-smoker, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be using this during our session and I'll say to them, well, if, if you just want to sort of give up uh, or maybe you want to cut back, then that's like going from one to two thousand pounds, isn't it? We go, yeah, well, I suppose that's right. But if we can create a gap that this is where you are, but that's where you'll be as a non-smoker, like the five thousand pound decision, where all of a sudden you completely change and decide, yeah, I could wait, I could make a decision on that. Then to be a non-smoker, that's what you and I have to do. We have to find where's your gap so big that when you leave it today, you will be a non-smoker. And that's what gets them thinking, you see. So everything I do is building on that five to one rule. That five to one rule. Everything that I'm working through with my clients to be a non-smoker is a five to one rule. Hey, I might even record a video soon on the most important question I ask anyone to help them be a non-smoker. And it absolutely, critically makes that difference in helping them stop, quit and become a non-smoker or not. I'll have to see what replies I get to this video. Anyway, this is Gary Foster saying thanks for watching. That's my 5 to 1 rule explanation. The bigger the gap, the bigger the motivation. Take care. Bye for now.